Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you how to utilize the Kartra help desk. Yes, Kartra is a lot of things. It's a landing page software, sales funnel software, automation email. It also features a customer support software feature, and that's what I'm going to be walking you through. So if you haven't gotten to try out Kartra, they do come with a 14 day trial. I will put a link down below. We can test them out if you like. Let's get started. Okay. So first and foremost, what you need to do is just simply go through the steps. It's a very simple process and Kartra guides you through each of them. So when it comes to hosting, you can choose to host it in Kartra or even on your own site if you want to embed it. Let's go with hosting in Kartra. So let's click on save. And this is pretty much going to be the process when you go through everything. Now we have our design template. This is pretty much all about changing the color. As you can see, we got orange, amber, orange, brown, uh, crimson, red. I'm going to go with green. There it is. Let's click on save. And of course, we have a custom marquee, personalize the look and feel of your help desk portal. So this is just going to be some a lot of stock photos really depending on what you're using obviously you can upload your own and it recommends the ideal image size going to be 1330 by 1080 and a bunch more i'll just quickly cycle through these i'm gonna go with something kind of simple and basic uh that's not bad i've seen that picture so many times on stock photo sites but uh uh that one looks good how about something like how we'll do all caps how may I help you? Question mark. <clears throat> okay, something like that. You can change around the opacity and the overlay color if needed, but let's click on save and go to the next step. All right, so now we move on to the support departments. This is really going to depend on what you're looking for your customers to address. For example, like billing, technical, there could be say, I wanna reach out to get my bonuses. I have a question about so-and-so. I'll read this so you get a good idea about it. Oops, let me hover over that. Define all the different support departments your users may select when submitting their tickets. That way your support agents will receive, I think that's supposed to be your customer queries, organized by their area of expertise. So billing is definitely one of them. Let's do that. And let's add that. Definitely want that to be public. Let's do technical support. Could be another great one. For example, technical support could be something like, you know, something isn't working or like, how do I edit my custom domain, stuff like that. Let's just say uh, bonuses. For example, if you're offering bonuses for say something that you're going to be recommending, that could be a specific category, right? Um, FAQ, frequently asked questions and so on and so forth. It really depends what you're looking for. If you're selling a product or you've used, you know, any type of support, even if you haven't used support, you're going to get a quick idea of what people are going to be reaching out for. Sometimes it could be FAQs or general questions, probably another great way of doing that. If people buy something from you and they want to get their bonuses, that could be very popular. Technical is going to be all the technical stuff. And obviously billing can be anything purchase related. Maybe it's a billing question, maybe it's a re refund and so on and so forth but that's good let's click on save and here we go here's the cool thing so when it comes to support channels you have support ticket you have phone you have live chat and skype now i'm not really a big fan of skype so i'm definitely not going to be using that one but for this example definitely want to click on support ticket so average response time three hours you can obviously change that around but let's click on activate channel now there's obviously the ability to utilize other ones like phone or live chat. Let's click on live chat. It says your live chat agents will be able to turn their online status on or off at the live chat dashboard 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Really depends on if you have someone being able to, you know, do live chat that way, but we can click on activate channel and let's click on save. Perfect. Save and next. All right, so here we have tickets or emails. Establish how your customers interact with their support agents, either via email or via the ticket system. Note that this is only on the user side. Your agents will always receive, read, and respond to user messages via the help desk. So interact exclusively through the help desk. Your users will need to visit your help desk ticket portal to post a new ticket and to reply to existing ones. I like that. There's always obviously the ability with just email communication, but this kind of keeps everything through the help desk, which, you know, it's really up to you in preference. With emails, it seems like it could be a little bit easier, but if you want to keep everything with within that specific help desk, you can go with that option. I'm going to click on save. Let's go to save and next. All right. So supported products, not only do you have specific billing sections, you have maybe bonuses, you have FAQs. This is going to be very important when it comes to your customers actually dictating which product they need help with. So let's just say we have 
product A, okay, and product B. You know, you might have D, E, F, G, and C too, right? So it, it depends on how many you have, but that's a great way to really categorize what your customers are going to be needing help with. So let's click on save. Okay, and you can also create a wiki section. So providing a comprehensive FAQ list is always of help to your customers. Even better, a fully fleshed out tutorial article library can significantly decrease your help desk ticket load and increase customer satisfaction. Make sure to organize your articles and categories for easier browsing, as well as to add a few relevant keywords to each article so your users can better utilize these search functionality. So in my opinion, it's going to be best to do this once you have some intel or data collected from your customers. Let me give you an example. If you haven't sold too many products before or maybe done customer service, and then like say you do a product launch where you get just thousands upon thousands of sales in like a few days, sometimes one day, you'll quickly understand what people usually need help with when it comes to customer support. So once you have an idea about that, I'm not saying you have to do a launch by the way, but once you have some more data and intel about what people are gonna be frequently asking, that's when you can go back and create that wiki help guide because you're gonna have a lot of basis for it. Like you know what people are gonna be asking, you can take a lot of the most frequently asked questions, put them in there, and then of course they can check that out and it's gonna really help you save on a lot of time when it comes to people asking help because the answers will already be there. So in the beginning, if you don't have a lot of knowledge, you might just be guessing on a lot of things. You don't have to create one, but once you start getting in a lot of the same questions over and over and over again, then you'll definitely want to create one and add that to it. So for the time being, let's just click on don't create. Let's click save. Like I said, once you get more experience with that, or if you already have it, definitely go with that because you'll know exactly what to put in there to save yourself a lot of time. Let's click on save and next. All right, so we have the billing section. You may add a new section to your help desk portals called My Orders. There, your users will be able to log in and view their past transactions and active recurring subscriptions, download their invoices, update their credit details, etc. Moreover, they will be able to self-manage certain billing requests such as the request refunds and to cancel active payment subscriptions, which it might reduce the workload on your support team. So this is definitely a great thing to have just by clicking on yes. You can allow your users to access their orders, download invoices, edit their credit card. This is truly like everything all in one spot. I guess that's why Kartra says it so much, the all-in-one platform. This is super helpful. This can save you a ton of time. Let's click on yes. Let's click save. And here's the next spot. So we have let users request refunds. So your users will be able to request refunds for each individual transaction within the allowed refund window, or you can do no. Uh, your users will not be able to request refunds on their own behalf. Instead, they'll need to manually contact you via your support desk. This is really going to be up to you, especially if you have obviously money back guarantees. So yes, you can allow refunds or no, you know, like I said, really customizable and up to you. And the cool thing about this is that you can actually execute refunds automatically. As it says, every refund request, as long as it's within the refund window, will be automatically processed without you having to authorize it. So this also can save you a lot of time. However, I feel this is something that people could pick up on and kind of use it you know, for bad, just purchase stuff just to refund, knowing that they're going to get it automatically. So there's always the option. If you are going to allow refund requests, you can manually review them. Okay. So also select a specific department when it comes to billing, technical, and support. This would more so be under billing. So let's click on save. Perfect. Let users cancel subscriptions. This one's going to be much easier. I think cancellations are a much better process because usually it's some type of trial. It's easier to do and there's going to be a lot more cancellations than refunds from what I've seen when it comes to recurring. So with this, I would go with yes, allow cancel subscriptions uh, automatically to make it really easy and click on save. Very cool. So a lot of really cool details when it comes to the features in this specific help desk. Let's move to the next one. All right, so last but not least, we have the ability to utilize automations. Once again, this is Kartra at their finest using a lot of their all-in-one platform where you have the ability to capture the leads or don't capture them. So whenever someone submits a ticket or initiates a live chat, don't add them to your leads database. There's a good chance that if someone's asking about a product that they purchased, they, they should already be on your list, right? However, there is the ability that if someone submits a ticket or initiates a live chat, automatically add them to your leads database. This will be good in case they haven't purchased yet. Maybe they have questions. However, that's gonna be completely up to you. I'm just gonna leave this at no at the time. Let's click on save and save and next. So there you have it. Congratulations, your help desk portal has been created. That's going to be the link. Uh, you can create your signature. You can create canned responses as well, which is pretty cool, but allow me to open this up in a new window. 
All right, so here we go. This is just a quick example of the help desk. Like we talked about, my orders, this is going to be great. So this is the perfect place for this because someone can just look up with their email address, their order ID. It also says this was emailed to you when you placed their order, so it shouldn't be that difficult for them to figure out. Of course, we have my tickets. This is going to be where you log in. You can see everything that's happening. And of course, we have the support section. This is where they can create a new ticket. Remember, this was just kind of the, the initial thing that we put there. This you can obviously change around. It doesn't have to be three hours, but they'll need their first and last name, email, and then phone is going to be optional. This is going to be the department. Remember we talked about, maybe it's going to be about billing. Of course, the message. This is where they can enter in their information. You can also embed a few things, even like a YouTube video if needed. You can attach files and of course, submit. Then of course, there's going to be the live chat section where if no one is live, it's just going to refer to sending a new ticket. So there's always going to be a way for your customers to contact you. But all in all, that's a very quick tutorial when it comes to the Kartra help desk. I hope that helps you out when it comes to following the steps and be able to set it up along with some information and guidance based upon where you are with your online business and some of the tools and features that you might want to use. And then of course, you can change around as you get going. For example, the wiki one is a perfect example. Once you have a lot of data about what your customers and emails are asking, then you can create a nice little page where it's going to answer some of the most popular questions. And that's going to save you a ton of time. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Once again, I will put a link to Kartra. They do come with a 14 day trial in case you want to test them out. That's about it. Thank you so much for watching again, and I'll see you in my next video.